Hello again, I'm Lawrence Wagner, the Senior Engineer for Anderson Radiant Heating. Let us have a discussion of concealed radiant tubing leaks and their detection in the Eichler home. For a radiant panel system to operate efficiently, it must be entirely leak free and closed to the constant introduction of new water from an outside source. Many contractors and leak detection companies claim to understand how to locate and repair any leak in the concealed radiant panel. Don't be fooled and led to believe that there are equivalent methods of locating Eichler concealed copper tube and steel tube leaks that do not surface water. The common methods of leak detection in the Eichler home are helium spectrographic analysis, ultrasounding, and infrared inspection. Because of the high mass concrete design and inconsistent tube depth, the latter two methods are useless for locating all the leaks in the Eichler home. While properly employed, helium analysis is foolproof and precise. It should be noted at this time, various methods of e and equipment for helium analysis do exist. Only through many years of experience can this method be successful and by far exceeds any other choice. What is important is that the helium needs to be injected into a water-free system at pressures and a duration as required by the leak rate of each individual home. And using a spectrograph capable of reading very small concentrations of helium molecules within the range of one part per billion. It is our estimate that only one out of 300 radiant heat leaks will actually produce water at the surface. When a leak occurs, the water is usually directed downward into the ground without any signs of a problem. Look at a radiant heat leak, which is an improper repair by another contractor, followed by a proper repair by Anderson Radiant Heating. To determine if your system is leaking, a hydrostatic pressure test must be accomplished and this procedure was discussed in a previous video. When a leak occurs in the concealed tubing of the radiant panel, all copper tube systems are repairable with the exception when severe electrolytic degradation of the tube exists. Don't worry, because of the closed loop design, there should be no electrolytic degradation in most instances. After observing thousands of feet of radiant copper tubes, I have only seen degradation from electrolysis in four homes over my 50 years of experience. The reason for this was easily explained because the system was ne neglected by the homeowner for many years with a leaking condition before therefore negating the benefits of a closed system. All other leaks have showed no such degradation and are attributed to excessive stress on the tube. As the concrete cracks, if a tube crosses a crack and is bound tightly to the concrete, the geophysical stress will cause it to split under certain circumstances. It just happens that the Eichler tract home was built with thinner slabs and non-uniform slabs without rebar for strengthening. It is no surprise that the slabs show excessive signs of grade movement and stress cracking. What is amazing, however, is that most of the radiant tubes cross hundreds of cracks in the slab without any damage or failure. We have observed that the average number of radiant tubing leaks in the Eichler home after 50 years or more of grade stress is only one to seven. Considering the way these homes were constructed, the radiant panel has fared very well under the circumstances. Because of many years of experience and the introduction of helium leak detection pioneered for the Eichler home by Anderson Radiant Heating, we believe that once we perform a leak detection, location, and complete repair of the home, it will function as good as the day it was installed and be trouble free for many years to come. If you have one of the Eichler homes with steel radiant tubing, this occurs on about 5% of the Eichlers built, and it is leaking, it is not repairable to code requirements because the leaks are due to the actual deterioration of the tubing, which when attempting a repair usually creates more leaks. See our website 
at radiantheat.net for further clarification. These systems need to be replaced with an alternative heating system. As a last alternative, however, special sealers like sodium silicate can be added to the system water which may reduce the leaks but in most cases will not stop them completely. It is strictly a guess as to how much deterioration has occurred and the extent to how large the leaks may be if a sealer is to be effective. In any case, this is strictly a band-aid approach because complete failure of the tubing will eventually occur where no water pressure can be maintained for proper heat transfer and safety of the boiler system. There have been cases where sealer has been installed in copper systems where electrolysis exists, but the same conclusions of failure will eventually occur. We never recommend placing sealer of any type in a copper tube system because of the detrimental effects of such products on valves, pumps, and support equipment, and due to the nature of the splits, the likelihood of this being effective to stop all the leaks is very minimal and a waste of time. Repair of the leaks in a copper tubing system is the only solution to ensure longevity, efficiency, and maintenance-free operation of the radiant panel. Avoid any contractor who wants to put sealer in, a, in your copper tube radiant system. Since we are talking about concealed radiant panel leaks, let's finish the presentation with the operation of the Eichler radiant system with known leaks. This happens to be the most often asked question. You certainly can operate the system with a leaking condition. Do you want to? Absolutely not. Ask yourself, would you operate your car with a leaking radiator? Often we perform a hydrostatic pressure test for a maintenance checkup or a home sale inspection and detect leaks when the homeowner insists the system was heating the home. The radiant system is a low pressure closed loop configuration, never requiring the replenishment of water unless maintenance is performed or some type of failure occurs. The water portion of the system is always pressurized to 10 to 25 psi by a safety water makeup device called the pressure reducing valve or PRV. As water is lost because of a leak, new water is introduced into the system. This means that even in the summer, when the heat is turned off, a leak will cause the water to be replenished automatically by the PRV. This happens all year long and without indifference as to whether the system is heating or not. The introduction of new water into the system will appear to heat the home, but the actual operation is inefficient and destructive to the copper tubing, border, and its safety and support equipment. All leaks, both large and small, must be located and repaired for proper system operation. Approximately 95% of all the leaks in the concealed tubing will never be visible for a slab on grade home like the Eichler. New flooring materials, sealing methods, and the lack of a membrane barrier often results in no visible water damage. Therefore, the only positive method to determine if your system is leaking is to perform a hydrostatic pressure test on a yearly basis. Also, ensure to perform a pressure test when a service person suspects they leak, before you remodel your home, before you penetrate the concrete slab for any reason including termite control, under slab plumbing repair, and the replacement of any floor coverings. In conclusion, some of the other indications which may indicate you have a leak are visible water on the floor, wet carpeting or padding, staining of the carpet, carpet, discoloration of the grout between the floor tiles, the presence of calcification and effervescence on the grout or the concrete slab, warpage and discoloration of the wooden floor materials, discolored or rusty system water, inefficient heating in one or more rooms of the home, reading low system pressure at the boiler. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. I hope you have learned more about your Eichler Radiant Heating System. Please visit our website at, at radiantheat.net for more information. Until next time, I am Lawrence Wagner, Senior Engineer for Anderson Radiant Heating.